Hello, it is a vlog today. As you can see, I'm driving. Um, let me adjust this a little bit so maybe you can see. There you go. There you go. Um, so I will show you my outfit of the day as we kind of go through and progress in the day. I have a ton of errands to run. Um, and I have some shopping to do because Nordstrom Rack is having an epic, epic sale today. Um, it's not today. It's today is yesterday today tomorrow and they're taking an additional um 70 percent off clearance apparel including designer and i'm pissed off because yesterday i was in indianapolis indiana and there was a um in the nicer part well, was in indiana uh, indianapolis is a town nearby and it's an affluent area and the nordstrom rack was empty like i was um next door at a restaurant and the parking lot was empty there was no hubbub and craziness going on which means I probably missed out on getting some real, uh, you know, my pick of a really good um, selection of designer things. So I'm pissed at myself for that because I didn't see the sale ad until I was like halfway home. And I live three and a half hours away from Indianapolis. So anyway, that all said, I am going to try my luck at um, a couple of Nordstrom racks here in Chicago. I'm not really hopeful and the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and do that is because I have to pick up some tailoring that I dropped off earlier in the week and I need uh, those items for a trip that I'm taking um, next week so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up do some shopping and I'll get to show you my outfit of the day I guess in the fitting room at that point and then you know of course we'll go through the whole um, what we're shopping for I have a ton of things to do today right now I am super super anxious because I tried a dry cleaner here in my neighborhood for the very first time I usually would go to this place called CD price one price or CD one price cleaners whatever it is where everything is like two dollars to get cleaned and um, in the past they've ruined some of my nicer things and so I've been holding on to my nice things that need to be clean for a really long time um, just kind of getting a good bundle of things together and then taking them all into a quote nicer dry cleaning um, service uh, at the same time and then I just made an assumption you know uh, this cleaner is in a nice area they sh and I, I figure you know affluent people bring nice things to this said cleaners and um, today I went online to check their hours and I noticed a whole bunch of negative comments like this one dude talking about um, they ruined his um, Canada goose coat oh my gosh and they did nothing about it whatsoever nothing not even refunded him for the the poor cleaning service they ruined his coat Oh, several things several stories about people's things being ruined so i'm super super nervous i put in like some burberry veronica beard gucci i put in some nice things in there and i'm nervous <laughs> i'm nervous but i have to tell you I'm, I'm pulling up now i'm literally getting ready to pull into the parking lot I'm, like my stomach is in knots that my things are ruined but i'll get back on and tell you how it goes all right so we are back at it and i am somewhat relieved all of the pieces except for one that i wasn't sure could be fixed um were cleaned properly and one was res actually rescued so there was one white blazer that i had from veronica beard that the um other cleaner that i brought it to cd price one cleaner whatever you call it once before and they turned it like beige <laughs> so um they got it back white there was one piece that's dry clean only that i got as a jumpsuit and um i i don't know was i i think i was like washing dishes or something and some water splattered on it and i got water stains on the piece and i was thinking that maybe if you know they could clean the water stains out but i noticed that they're still there so that piece is i guess essentially ruined and that's and that's that you know so I, I gave it a shot um, and the dry cleaning service is not cheap there so that's why I'm kind of sad that it wasn't able to um, get cleaned I don't know maybe you tell me if it's not cheap I put in seven pieces and the bill was I think sixty five ninety five or something like that so that's just under seven dollars a piece no more than that I don't know I can't math right now but tell me if that seems um, expensive. It's a variation of different pieces, dresses, pants, jumpsuits, sweaters, whatever. But 
I found that to be expensive and that was I used confirmation bias to say because the price is high because the neighborhood is good the cleaning service would be would also be good um, yeah anyway let's get on the road I got a lot of shit to do all right first location down we just left the uh south loop location you can't see because my steering wheel is in the way um but i am leaving the parking lot now and i got a bag here the bag size is misleading because i didn't get that many things um but the things that i did get are useful they will definitely get used dang this dude look like he is straight up out of the 70 i wish i could show you straight up out the 70s with his uh with his outfit anyway um so i am headed now this was a south loop location i'm headed downtown downtown um <clears throat> the the loop area so this was south loop i'm headed to the loop which is right in the core in the heart of downtown chicago um that's where i got my clothing alterations done so i need to pick that up but then since i'm going to be there anyway i'm going to check out what they have on clearance and then um, I want to amble up to uh, the Gold Coast. All right, all right. I'm gonna head up to the Gold Coast. I'm gonna head up to the Gold Coast um, to the other location there. I just feel like they have more designer things to choose from. I know everything is picked over, but my taste is different from everybody else's taste, so I'm pretty sure I'll find something. So I'm gonna go to that one, but I also want to go check out the uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, I have a 25% off your purchase coupon plus a few other coupons for a few free things. So I'm just going to go ahead and amble on in, in there and grab a couple things. Um, candles and wallflowers and the like because 25% off is pretty good for um, Bath and Body Works plus the free things. You know, you can't walk away from free stuff. Come on. So yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm doing that and then um, Trader Joe's and then I guess I'll head home. A friend of mine is supposed to be stopping by my house. Um, I have a few of the, you saw me do the dossier haul and I said a couple of the items were um, male scents and they were experiments. So it's for my friend who wear who wears one of the two that I picked up and I want to see what he thinks if it's close to the real deal or not. And I think it's close enough. Like um, if you don't tell people like, hey, there is a difference. I don't think that the nose is that discerning to say that there there really is a difference. I think side by side, then it's like, oh, my spidey senses are up and I need to discern between there being one real and not real. I bet you, if you took one, the one fragrance and sprayed it on two different cards and asked them to say which was real, which was fake, they wouldn't tell you that both are the same. I bet you they wouldn't do that. So um, anyway, that said, let me go on. We, we got a little bit more shopping to do. I've been babbling too much. Um, let's go to the next thing. Okay, the loop location was a good, that was a good enough score. I can't wait to show you those items. Only scary part is that these are all final sale and I didn't try any of this shit on except for um, at the South Loop. I did try on a pair of shorts, um, but I didn't feel like trying anything else on. So question mark on a few of the things that I did end up getting. Um, I did make my little Starbucks run. Um, it's kind of chilly outside, so I just needed something warm. Mm. Got my chai latte. Um... And I was surprised. I've like pulled a bag out to shop with and I forgot I had this cool bag. But it's disgusting. It's look how dirty it is. It's been in the trunk of my car. I don't know what that stuff is. I need to get out of here. Okay. Best day ever. So I've done three Norsum Rack already. 
Um, and I've purchased something from each and every one of those Nordstrom racks. Some things more exciting than others, but this last place that I went to, which is why I am pissed that I did not um, go to the one in Indianapolis, they had more like, they had nicer things, more designer things to choose from um, that were mixed into like the, just everything. They didn't have it like separated, but nonetheless, I ended up getting um, two things, um, and one was a designer item that was originally $465 that I got for $42, and I cannot wait to show it to you. I like literally eat when I tried it on, because everything is final sales, so I wanted to make sure I wanted it. But I literally eked out loud at how fucking cute this piece was. So that's that. And I shopped entirely more than I needed to today. And I'm not done because I'm headed to actual Nordstrom to check for, not to check, to go get more Dior lip oil. And, um, oh, and just to check out a few fragrances. I want to see if, you know, how they are in person. Um, probably not going to purchase any fragrance today, but I just want to see how they are, um, how they smell in real life. And the other thing, other piece of fun news is that, um, my husband told me yesterday he's um, that I can go ahead and pick out a nice watch that I want. I'm going to pick up a Breitling watch, but not today. Um, but he told me go ahead and um, pick out what watch I wanted. So I'm super excited about that. <laughs> I'm excited about that. It was just because. Um, literally, my birthday is in June, so that's past. Anniversaries in January, Christmas, you know when that is. So it's a just because. Um, but I'm super excited. So anyway, headed to Nordstrom. I'll maybe pop you in there for a second but I want to once I get home though I'm gonna do a haul I got to show you these things so I picked up my lip oil I tried it on right away because um, the lady convinced me to get a different color like a deeper pink the one I have was the original which is like a baby pink and then she told me to get raspberry because it has more pigment I really can't say that I noticed the difference so um, I'm actually um, not mad about it it's not like it costs more and I don't really like it to look like I'm wearing lipstick or anything. So I think it worked out. So I am I am pleased with that. So I'm headed over to um, Bath & Body Works, like I told you, to get some things. Um, I'm meeting a friend of mine to give him some cologne, but he mentioned that he hadn't eaten um, lunch yet. So we're just gonna do lunch together. He's waiting on me, um, hanging out, and just gonna wait on me until I get back. So I am starving and um, ready to chow down. So I will, um, if, if it's okay, I'll show you, um, if I have the opportunity to do so, I'll show you what I have for lunch, and then we're gonna do the haul. All right, just left um, the store, Water Tower uh, Mall, got some things. I'm headed home to drop my things off and get my things for my friend, and then meeting him for lunch. I almost hit like a crowd of people because they like darted across the street to go get um, some baseball players autograph. I'm like, fuck, I understand you're excited to see said celebrity or whatever, but kind of want to live, don't you? Um, but yeah, it was like a pack of both adults and young people just darted across this friggin' street. So anyway, that was crisis averted. I'll talk to you guys in a sec. And I, I'm really, I'm, I almost like want to skip lunch because I so want to show you. <laughs> I just want to show you the stuff I got. I'm super excited. Anyway, talk to you later. All right, so I made it back home and I switched to my camera from my phone. So you'll notice a little bit of a difference. But I'm, I got a lot of stuff. So I'm going to try. Actually, I'm going to go lightning speed fast, I think, in all this stuff so that we're not here for an hour. So um, I, like I said, I stopped at three different Nordstrom racks, as I discussed before. Nordstrom rack was having this sale that was an additional 70% off of clearance prices. So the clearance prices are usually really you know, pretty decent on their own at Nordstrom Rack. I'm sure you've been in there before or at least visited their website before. And if not, you should. <laughs> um, but the, the prices are usually pretty decent. And um, so imagine 70% off of that. It just makes it phenomenal. So I'm gonna start with the first piece. This I thought was a dress. 
um, but it's actually a tunic. It's in a, like a little light corn silk yellow. It's very, very light and um, sheer. I love this because it's just, again, I go for the free people, very girly kind of a thing. I had to darken it, darken it so you can see this, but um, I love that it has this sort of embroidery here. It's pretty sheer um, in person, but I had to darken it so much that it looks even opaque here. Um, it has a very deep opening here in the front, but it still, I think, is modest just because that middle breastbone piece is showing it's not super I don't know the buttons are pretty cute here I thought I picked this up because I thought it was a dress so um anyway that's the first piece free people super cheap I'll have to um you know advise on what these prices were but everything is obviously additional 70% off I think this ended up being like seven dollars but cute all right the next piece is a pair of distressed uh jogger jeans it has like a a greenish um tint to it um and it's distressed jogger bottom this is from the brand bp and it ended up being six dollars and some change the original price on it was uh fifty dollars the original price on this beep um on this free people piece was 88 dollars and again like i said it was like seven dollars this was like what did i say six dollars okay and I keep forgetting to say stuff, but uh, this this first piece here was an extra small. And then this one is a size uh, 26 is what I got it in because my goal is to have it be baggy. Um, I got um, a sports bra from the brand, what is it, Zella? And I, I think I ended up picking up three of these. And the reason why I got these specifically, and you've seen me get these before, these little uh, bra parts are removable. I don't like um padding in my sports bras i don't like padding in my bras in general so to be able to take these out i i appreciate that so i got a few of these i liked it so much that i got it i think three times yep i got a black one and i got a gray one so we got three of those I ended up picking up this really pretty sort of orange slash corally dress from the brand sink i set um and i got this in a size zero this one was a surprise piece for me as well it was in the designer section um the original price on this was 365 and i ended up getting it for like 40 i think 42 or 43 dollars i love the girly nature of it i love the color of it this is one of those dopamine colors we were talking about for fall that you'll see this fall you'll see a little bit of a departure away from the typical you know greens and mer merlots burgundies browns and things like that that you normally see normally see in fall um you'll see dopamine which is the bright um very bright um saturated colors jewel tones and things like that for fall um we'll see at least that's what i'm hearing we'll see for fall but we'll see um i got another pair of uh i got some pjs here but i got these pjs um and i'll link as much as i can down below this is the nordstrom rack brand um the original price on this was 35 dollars, and i ended up getting it for six dollars so i'm super excited about that next i got a pair of you you're not going to be able to see this so i'm going to have to do a cutaway i suppose a pair of linen shorts from blank nyc it has pockets on the back elastic waist i'm really feeling that one i got this in a size extra small and the price on this was uh, six dollars as well six dollars and some change so i thought this was really cute this is the only piece that i actually no i tried on two pieces tried this on um because i'm really funny about white things um uh, especially on the bottom because it can make you look fat period <laughs> you know and you can see through a lot of whites and things i just wanted to make sure and see how it looked but it, it was fine so this was one of the pieces that i actually tried on everything in the sale was um a final purchase or a final sale you can't return them so if they don't fit you are sol i got a pair of adidas leggings here um seven eighth length and i usually like a little bit of my ankle to show just a i'm just too hot when it's all the way down um so this was again six dollars as well um the original price on these were 55 dollars. i do like adidas brand leggings so um that was a good purchase i also got a dress from asos i'm gonna have to try to find this online because i'm pretty certain it won't pick up well on camera but it is a maxi dress it's gray and um three quarter length sleeve um and it has these ruffles here on the front i love this sort of um uh, i don't know what kind of gray to call this is it slate gray 
um we'll see i don't know what color this is but it's a it's very nice i like it i'm gonna take out um the belt that comes with it and put a nicer belt on it when i do wear it but it is a maxi length and um, i'm looking forward to wearing this the original price was 225 dollars and i ended up getting this for 11 dollars. so that was a really good um purchase the piece that i got that made me go eek remember i told you i literally eked at some pieces um the piece that i got is from a brand that i am not familiar with i'm gonna have to do a cutaway because um, me holding it up will not do it justice. There's some funky tying and strings and things that go with this that won't register well on camera. But this is a plaid dress from the um, from the brand KKCO, and the original price on this one was four hundred and seventy five dollars, and I got it for forty two dollars. It is a um, one sleeve long sleeve and no sleeve dress it has an asymmetrical hem on there different color I've, as you can see different color plaid on here i absolutely love the sort of the hodgepodge mixed match of of fabrics or prints not fabrics and i love that it has this sort of um this hardware and this just craziness it has like um these metal tassels at the end of the um what are they called again aglets yeah these metal aglets at the end of the laces that are here it has a really fun way of tying and i tried it on and it, i got this in a size zero and i tried it on and it was gorgeous and it I, it literally made me go <laughs> in the dressing room so i'm really excited about this purchase um again that's more than it's over 90 percent off of the original price so i'm happy about that um, I also popped into Nordstrom, which was maybe about a mile away from the Nordstrom Rack. So I walked over and I wanted to get more of the Dior Lip Oil. Um, we talked about this before. This is one of my favorite lip products. Um, it's gorgeous. It's, it's very sexy, very gorgeous, makes me feel pretty. And I spend the extra coin for this. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. It cost uh, $32.30. For this lip gloss way too much money but i love it um they gave me some um free samples here that i'm def probably not going to use these are some what are these lipsticks they're lipsticks so i don't wear lipstick so i'll probably throw this in one of my giveaways um which i, I have yet to do i have like I have so much stuff to give away so um probably have to make that a priority so i can clear out some space in my closet but i have like three massive boxes of giveaways i'm probably gonna sort them out by theme maybe do like a a beauty or a fashion or hair you know different type of boxes with those type of things um but anyway um as i was headed over to bath and body works i remembered that i had a coupon for a free pair of panties from Victoria's Secret you can't see that I didn't I opted to not get a bag so it probably would have been more dramatic and better presentation with a bag um but I always struggle with whether I should show you or not but I'm showing you I'm very plain with my underwear but this one is uh these are the seamless ones and I pr I praise these and rave about these every time I get them so if you have issues with panty lines and or you know the print of your underwear showing um I would recommend you get these um seamless underwear from um from Victoria's Secret I swear by them I love them especially for um if you're curvy you got a lot going on down there it's very likely that your underwear are going to bunch and do things that you don't want it to do with the seamless you reduce that issue significantly um I usually get things that are close to my skin tone um, so you'll see me with the nudes, the purples, the blacks, the browns, and things like that. So these are like underneath my clothes. You really can't see them if I wear something um, that's kind of sheer or kind of lightly colored. So this one I usually get, I don't care which kind I get. I get the cheekies, the hipsters, the all the all the ones. This one is a hipster kind. Um, but I get these. And so I had a coupon for free. So I went and got, you had to buy something. So I bought two. And... Um, that's that and then i ambled on over to bath and body works and i got my favorite things that i used to, I, if you've been rocking with me for a while you probably can guess what i already got but i got my rose water i and ivy um candle i always get the three week candle um and i got some room sprays rose water and ivy and then i got the fresh cotton my husband likes um fresh scents like linen cotton laundry things like that um so those i usually get for like his room and um and when i say his room he does have his own room <laughs> and uh and rose water ivy i like rose the smell of florals and i put that all over the rest of the house 
and um, I had a coupon for, um, I had 25% off my whole purchase and then two free gifts. So um, I got the couple other gifts for a friend of mine and I got a couple other candles for a friend of mine. So I, they're already given away, so um, I can't show them. But I also got a wallflower, the <laughs> Rosewater Ivy. <laughs> No surprises. So um, I was trying to go as quickly as possible. Oh, there's one more thing. Shoot, one second. So um, I did, I've been looking for, I've, I think I've shared with you on many occasions that I'm trying to fill my wardrobe with colors that I don't already have. Green and purple are two colors that I don't have a lot of. And so I realized I needed a, a green blazer. I had one a long time ago. I did a closet clear out in 2020 and I got rid of my green uh, corduroy blazer. And then now I'm realizing that I would like to have a blazer. So I went and found one on Mercari and um, this one seems to be a really nice one. This one is from Eddie Bauer in a size two, new with tags. And I, I like it. It's a nice deep forest green color. I think I'm gonna change out the buttons on this to something like either gold or silver. I'll have to see what I have available. Um, and I'm thinking I might have leftovers from the times that I've done them on other blazers and I have gold and silver. So I feel like I may have an opportunity to mix the metals on this and do gold and silver on, on this. So I might, I just might do that if I can find if I can find those buttons, I might do that. So anyway, um, I absolutely love this. I think I ended up getting this for less than $20. Um, I don't know what the original price on this was, but um, definitely, I mean, you know Eddie Bauer. There's no way that an Eddie Bauer blazer is 20 bucks. So I did get a, a good deal. And it's, um, I feel like this is wool. Let me see what, what it's made of. It is 71% um, wool, 15% polyester, 7% rayon, 7% other for the line, oh, 7% other, and the lining is 100% polyester. It has this, you know, this type of lining. So I think this is a really great purchase. It's mostly wool, so it's definitely something for winter or not wearing this in summer, put it that way. Um, and this will definitely keep me warm, but I'm super excited. I'll show you, if I do end up changing the buttons, I'll show it to you. All right, so for sure, that's the last of the last. I didn't forget anything. I kind of took a second look and I'm taking a third look as we go. Thank you so much for rocking with me today. I wanted to bring you along. I did a terrible job of showing you um, my shopping, but it just kind of little clips here and there of what I was up to. Um, and I had a really um, good time just with myself. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. I've linked as much as I could down below. Give me a thumbs up. Bye.